what's going on guys Kades here and welcome back to a brand new video for today i will show you the top three best hatchet builds for pvp and pve in your world so for each and every single build i will explain what attributes and perks you want to have then what gems and specific gear you want to use to get out your stats as much damage as possible then as well i will show you the best gameplay of me using different weapons so you would know which abilities you want to use first on your enemies and much more so if this sounds interesting to you then let's get right into it so then moving over to the first build which is the one and only great axe and hatchet and these are the attributes you want to have and just so you would know this is the best tank slash melee dps build and it is really good for pvp and as well pve so then like you can see you always want to split off your attribute points to have so put 50% into strength and 50 in constitution and around level 60 you should have 200 strength and 200 constitution and lastly for your gear you want to go with full heavy armor and you can use a shield as well just to look cooler but it's not required and won't give you any extra abilities or stats so it's your own personal preference so then for our first weapon we have the great axe and these are the weapon masteries you want to have so first of all you want to unlock the first ability called the reap and then get these two perks then after Afterwards, unlock the second ability called the charge and then get these two perks. Then from this point, now let's move over to the other side and unlock all these three perks. Then lastly, get the last third ability called the Gravity Well and then get these three perks as well. And now from this point, you're full free to pick and choose which perks you want to unlock next. So then let's go over to the second weapon, which is the Hatchet, and these are the weapon masteries you want to have. So first of all, you want to unlock this Berserk ability with these two perks. Then afterwards, unlock the second ability called the Feral Rush and then get these two perks. Then lastly, get the third ability with these two perks and now from here let's take a closer look at the other side and unlock this one perk and that's it now again from this point and onwards you're for free to choose in whichever order you want to spend your points so now let's move over to the gameplay where i'll show you the best way to play this build and how to get out your abilities the best possible results so first things first for your great axe q ability we have the gravity well which you can just aim and shoot and if you hit the target in that electric storm he will take damage and get stunned then the second ability is called the reap which basically extends your axe for 5 meters and if an enemy is running away you can pull him back and lastly we have the F ability called the charge and this is another dash ability which will deal damage and give you more mobility and then going straight into the hatchet and when attacking an enemy it's super simple you want to use your Q ability aka activate berserk mode and then keep on using auto attacks and use the R and F ability which are just simple damage spells the best thing about berserk mode is that it will give you self healing and movement speed so you can use it to run away or run towards an enemy and as this weapon is super simplistic and straightforward the only thing that you need to know is that we have unlocked the throwing axe ability so to escape enemy attacks you won't be able to block but instead use the heavy armor and dodge their incoming attacks or switch to the great axe and use the blocking system but now on the other hand we can use the throwing axe which you can use to pull mobs or hunt animals from a lot further distance or on the other hand you can finish off players with low health so this is how it works you use the same mouse button that you would use for blocking so for me it's the right mouse button and then i aim it and shoot it with the left mouse button and that's it just of course keep in mind that every axe throw will consume your stamina so use it as much as you can but never get below 20 percent so then you could get it back up super quickly and then as far as your ability combinations go when attacking a player first of all you want to use your great axe and then activate the gravity well and then follow that up with the charge ability then when the enemy is about to run away use your reap ability and pull him back now switch to the hatchet and activate berserk mode and keep on using normal attacks and the R and F ability which we already looked into but they're just normal damage spells and last but not the least if you're fighting against a melee player and you have equipped the great axe then in between attacks remember to block so do one or two attacks and then block in between and keep on doing that and when you fight against the ranged player try to run around and dodge his spells with the jumps and moving your character from one side to another and by doing this you can still move forwards and attack a player but you make it a lot harder for you to get hit while you're closing the distance okay and now for my last and final conclusions for this build this hatchet and great axe weapon combination right now is super strong and as you're using a full heavy armor you can easily fight three or even four players just by yourself and then lastly for the hatchet and great axe for pvp you want to use the opal gem and then for pve if you want to be a tank then use the carnelian gem and then for all of your gear get the enix gems so if you're looking to be super tanky and hard 
to kill, but as well have the ability to do a bunch of damage as a solo or group player, then this is the build for you, so have fun. So then, moving over to the second build, which is the easiest and best weapons in the entire game. And for the weapons you want to use the hatchet and live staff. And then these are the attributes you want to have. So first things first, if you start from level 0, you want to get your focus to 150. And then start building your constitution. And around level 60, you should have 300 focus and 100 constitution. And then lastly, for your gear, you want to go with the medium category. And the best gear setup is to have heavy helmet, heavy chest armor, medium gloves, light pants and medium boots and this will give you 22.9 kilogram weight which is exactly just below the heavy weight category so then moving over to the first weapon which is the hatchet and these are the weapon masteries you want to have so first of all you want to unlock this berserk ability with these two perks then afterwards unlock the second ability called the feral rush and then get these two perks then lastly unlock the last third ability with these two perks and that's it now again from this point and onwards, you're feel free to choose in whichever order you want to spend your points. So then let's go over to the second weapon, which is the live staff, and these are the weapon masteries you want to have. So first of all you want to unlock this perk and then the first ability called the sacred ground. And then afterwards unlock all these 5 perks. Then now let's go over to the other side and unlock this one perk, and then the second ability called the beacon, and then get these 2 perks. Then lastly unlock the last third ability called the lights embrace, and then get these 2 perks as well. And now from this moment, you're feel free to spend your points in whatever way you like. Okay, so now let's go over to the gameplay, where I'll show you the best way to play this build. So then for the live staff, your Q ability is called the Sacred Ground, which you have to point and select the area you want to place it in, and then cast it for a split second. Then the R ability is called the Lights Embrace, and it basically works the same way, just for a single target. And lastly, we have the F ability called Beacon, which you can just aim and it places a huge circle on the ground. And if you target a player, you can attach the spell to him specifically. So then for the second weapon, we have the Hatchet, and when attacking an enemy, it's again very simple. You want to use your Q ability, aka Activate Berserk Mode, and keep on using auto attacks and use the R and F ability, which are just simple damage spells. So the way you want to attack a player is first of all, from a distance, use your live staff, and auto attack the target. Then when you get closer to the enemy or he get closer to you, use the second ground ability and then switch to the hatchet and activate berserk mode and keep on using auto attacks on the R and F ability while standing in the circle. Then whenever you or your teammates are low health, switch back to the live staff and place the beacon first and then spam the lights embrace ability and this will increase your healing. So then for my last and final conclusions for this build. This hatchet and life staff weapon combination is meant to do a bunch of damage while at the same time having the ability to survive for very long and you can use this build for PvP and PvE aka leveling as well. And then lastly for the life staff you want to use the diamond gem. Then for your hatchet, use the amber gem. And lastly, for all of your gear, amulets, rings and everything else, use the enix gems. And if you're a new player or beginner and not familiar with how this game works, then basically the hatchet and life staff are two different weapons. One is very good with strength attribute and the other one with focus. And as we mainly have a focus build, by using this amber gem, we make the weapon switch from one attribute to another one. So now instead of the hatchet scaling with strength, it scales with focus. And by doing this, we make this build do even more damage and just in general stronger. So in a quick summary, if you're looking for the best and easiest build to learn and play, or you just like to be a healer, then this is the one for you. So enjoy! So then, moving over to my last and final build, which is the one and only bow and hatchet. And these are the attributes you want to have. So no matter from which level you start using, you first of all want to get your dexterity to 200. And then get 50 points in constitution. And then continue putting everything else in dexterity. And around level 60, you should have 300 dexterity and 100 constitution. And lastly, for your gear, you want to go with the light category. And the best gear setup is to have medium chest piece and then the rest light equipment. So then, taking a closer look at the first weapon which is the bow and these are the weapon masteries you want to have so first things first you want to unlock the first ability called the evade shot and then get these three perks then afterwards get the second ability called the poison shot and then get these three perks 
Then from here, let's move over to the other side and unlock the last third ability called the penetrating shot and then get these 4 perks and that's it. Now from this point and onwards, you're for free to pick and choose which perks you want to unlock next. So then, let's move over to the second weapon, which is the hatchet and these are the weapon masteries you want to have. So first of all, you want to unlock this berserk ability with these 2 perks. Then afterwards, unlock the second ability called the feral rush and then get these 2 perks. Then lastly, unlock the last third ability with these 2 perks and that's it. Now again from this point and onwards, you're for free to choose in whichever order you want to spend your points. Ok so now let's go over to the gameplay, where I'll show you the best way to play this build. And as we already looked into the hatchet twice, I will just skip it for now, and go straight for the bow, and the Q spell aka the poison shot gives you the ability to shoot an arrow, and when it reaches a target, the arrow will explode and create a poison smoke, and enemies standing in that smoke will be taking damage every second. Then the second ability is called the penetrating shot, which deals a lot of damage and the arrow itself can go through multiple players, which makes the spell very useful in PvE and 50v50 wars. And lastly, our third ability is called the evade shot, which when using makes your character leap back 5 meters while shooting one arrow. Ok so the best way to attack a player is at the start always try to have a distance between you and the enemy. So no matter if you are farming mobs in PvE or doing solo or group PvP, the same principle and rules apply. So from distance you want to use the bow and the way I like to do it is shoot one normal attack and then shoot the penetrating shot and then use the poison shot and this will poison the enemy and make him take damage every second. Then from here always try to keep on using your dodge rolls and swapping your weapon. And this will activate your perks on the bow, which will give you haste and damage increase. So for as long as you keep your distance, keep on using the bow. But when the enemy comes close to you or you to him, switch to the hatchet and activate berserk mode. And use the R and F ability whenever they get off cooldown. And then to dodge enemy attacks or even create more distance, switch back to the bow. And by using the evade shots and normal attacks, you should be able to finish off the enemy. My main point that I want you to understand is to use the bow for ranged attacks, and for close distance fighting use the hatchet. Both weapons are very high damage, and the hatchet is more meant for spamming left clicks while the bow will take more time to practice aiming. And then last thing I want you to practice is the dodge rolling, and swapping your weapons back and forth. So it's very simple, you normally run, then dodge once, and before the animation ends, you swap your weapons. So then without the animation you can dodge twice, and this will give you more crit chance and just in general movement speed. So this one dodge and swapping from bow to the hatchet and then back to the bow will give you nice speed boosts which you can use normally to run around the map a lot faster. Or just in general for PvP and PvE, you can create more distance and make yourself a very hard target to catch. So now for my last and final conclusions for this build. This bow and hatchet weapon combination right now is very good in PvE and for open world PvP. Then of course you have to consider that to play this build it will be a lot harder and take more time to practice aiming, especially at moving targets. Because it may seem easy to hit a standing target, but in reality it's actually quite hard. So then last but not the least, for the bow and hatchet you want to use the opal gem, and then for half your gear use the enix gems. So in a quick summary, if you are looking to do high damage or you just want to use one of the best leveling builds, then this is the one for you, so like per usual, don't forget to have fun, and that's about it. So I really do appreciate everyone for watching guys and I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any suggestions, feedback or other good hatchet builds that you would like to see in the next video then feel free to leave your comments in the comment section down below and while you're doing that please click like subscribe and enable that notification bell so this way you could support the channel and you won't miss any more amazing content from me with all this said you have an amazing day and i'll catch you in my next video so take it easy peace